Hello friends, welcome to Truth of Physics. In this particular video, I will discuss a very important topic and that is the concept of proper vector and pseudo vector or also proper scalar and pseudo scalar. Okay. Now, what is proper vector and pseudo vector? To understand that, let us have a uh, mirror. Okay. Okay. Let us have a mirror like this. So, uh, suppose we have a particle which is situated here and that is moving here with velocity v then the mirror image of this will be what by our consciousness we can say that the particle will go in this way that means the v vector after this placing this mirror that is the mirror image of this v or the mirror uh, reflection of this um, system is v after mirror imaging it is becoming minus v right like this way which are means suppose this is our y axis okay this is our y axis uh, and uh, this is our x axis and uh, suppose okay uh, this is our x this is y and this is suppose our z axis then the mirror is about the z axis then what happens this is becoming for our normal vectors this this type of if this type of things happens for any vector then you can say that that vector that is our velocity vector is a proper vector now you can you can now think that uh, it is obvious it will happen with every type of vector right that can you imagine but that is not true how let us understand the cross product of two vectors suppose we have two vectors a cross b okay a cross b then what happens then uh, what will be this i j k a x a y cross product looks like this now if we do this now what is the main fundamental thing that if we uh, place a mirror about uh, in the z axis in the in this plane okay then what happens uh, in the exit plane okay this is the exit plane the mirror is in the exit plane then it is coming that if the mirror is placed in the exit plane then the transformed form is like y our y change my our y is changing to minus y right as the velocity is about what the y direction there is uh, in this in this example the velocity is along only in y direction that means this velocity is nothing but our v j cap so and this is v minus j cap that means what is happening here actually the j vector is transforming to minus j vector or j cap due to this mirror okay now use this fundamental thing here so after if we have this type of vector suppose this is our c vector which is the cross product of two proper vectors these two vectors are two proper vectors a and b okay now by that just do that y trans transform y to minus y then what happens then a y will be minus a y right a y will be minus a y b y will be minus b y that means from here a minus term comes and from there from here another minus term appears that means if we take that uh, take them common then that will be just minus okay that will just minus i into this thing let us say it cx this total thing cx okay so after mirror transforming after transforming this is becoming this now this term here no term is present of no y term is present that means this will just be same so if this is cy this total term then it will be just plus j cap cy plus here you can say that there is two terms by and ay that will be transformed into minus terms okay that means another minus term we can come on from this thing and let us denote it to c uh, z then it becomes k cap c z that means what is happening here our proper vector was this our initial vector was this and after mirror transforming it is becoming this which is not similar like our uh, this case right our proper case, our proper vector case that means if we place a mirror in the exit plane then for our proper vectors our proper vectors the transforming transformation is like that y will be transformed to minus y the components y components will be just transformed into minus y but for this type of vectors where 
the where the vector contains the cross product of two proper vectors a and b then our product which is coming out is changing differently and the difference is uh, if we place a mirror in the exact plane then the uh, ve the this vector this type of vector uh, ve this type of vectors components the y component is not changing the y component sign is not changing unlike our proper vector but the x and z component are changing okay now if we if you look for any kind of vector uh, after operating this type of things after operating mirror operations if you find this type of results then that vector will be called a pseudo vector okay so these are see what is proper vector and what is pseudo vector now what is the physical use of this type of vectors recall the bauer support law magnetic field the equation of magnetic field is first b vector is equals to mu naught over 4 pi i dl cross r and this is what dl vector is what a uh, dl vector and r vector these two are separately proper vectors but there is a cross product so the total vector v vector is a cross product of two proper vectors that means this will be a pseudo vector now to colorize corollaries from this statement is that the cross product of two proper vector will give us a pseudo vector the cross product of a proper vector suppose a and a pseudo vector will give us a proper vector this will be proper okay and the cross product suppose uh, d vector and e vector the cross product of two um, pseudo vectors will give us also an uh, um, proper vector okay this will also be proper so only the cross product of two proper vector will give us a pseudo vector and the cross product of a proper vector and a pseudo vector will give us a proper vector and the cross product of two um, pseudo vectors will give us again a proper vector now um, so another type of uh, pseudo vector the examples of uh, pseudo vectors are uh, like our angular momentum spin angular momentum okay uh, angular velocity these type of things now let us understand with some diagrams now just look at these two figures here we are assuming that this particle having a velocity v suppose is under the influence of a force which is a kind of proper vector okay and here the particle is moving with a velocity the v, v but it is under a force under a force which is a pseudo vector suppose then what happens then we know that for proper vector if this is our what exit plane then the after mirror transforming after placing a mirror the mirror image the mirror system in the mirror system that will be just uh, we can get the mirror system just uh, after the just transforming the y component and that is here reflecting the v component the vy is just changed the vy it is plus j cap here and it is in minus j cap and as this f is a proper vector here so the f will also change its sign the f's j component has changed its sign here it is plus j cap here it is minus j cap so here okay now here in the case of pseudo vector what happens pseudo vector uh, here we know as we know if we place this in the exit plane then as v is a proper vector so v will change its sign but if it, as it is at the a, as f is the pseudo vector so it is not changing its sign its j component is not changing its sign but its i and um, z component will change its sign because the mirror is placed in the exit plane so the j component will not change the sign so the j component is just similar that means here what is the consequence here the uh, force is here in this case the force in the actual system the force is uh, driving uh, force is increasing its velocity right the force is resource responsible to increase its velocity and in the mirror 
system also the force and the velocity is in the same direction that means the force is increasing its velocity but here in this case the force in the real system the force is increasing its velocity that's okay but in the mirror system the force is decreasing its velocity right so this is a weird uh, phenomena okay of pseudo vectors now uh, let us understand this this is a uh, example of a Lorentz force Lorentz force we know that uh, an electromagnetic force ex electromagnetic system electromagnetic field uh, a charged particle experiences Lorentz force which is equals to Q into V cross V Q into V cross V now as we have discussed the properties what we have discussed the cross product of a proper vector V and an pseudo vector B magnetic field vector V will give us a proper vector that means this f is a proper vector here right that means okay that means what should be this is a suppose mirror as f is a uh, proper vector so f should change its uh, j component under mirror transformation right so let us uh, see that is it happening here okay and b b will not change its sign or b's jth component will not change its sign under mirror transformation when the mirror is placed in the exit plane okay but its i component and the z component will change its sign as we have discussed earlier right uh, so we came in the conclusion like that so let us understand that so b vector here if this is the b vector coming outward towards u then in the mirror transformation this will give like this b vector will be just inside because the uh, plane is like this okay so the jth component b is jth component if we had any jth component here we have no jth component we have only ith component right this is the x-axis so the, we have only ith component and the mirror is placed in this way so the jth component is not changing as not changing and we cannot see that because j uh, we have no j component here but we know that pseudo vector will have uh, will change its uh, its i and uh, z component will change so now here it have an i component i component right so this i component will be just reversed in the mirror system so it is reversed this symbol represent as the b vector is inside and v vector it is our proper vector so it will and v vector is our proper vector and v vector is directed along this way so its z component will be just transformed into minus j here right so the if this is clockwise this will become anti-clockwise the particles motion right this particle is moving along this circular loop so the v vector is directed along this and the v vector is this so the cross vector will give us what v cross b here the cross vector will give us what v cross b means the force is directed along this the Lorentz force is directed along this and here if you use the cross product then the force will be directed along this so what is happening the forces jth component is changing its sign due to the mirror reflection or the due to the mirror transformation so yes it will happen the jth component of force will change its sign because it is a proper vector because it is a cross product of a proper vector and a pseudo vector right so yes it is obvious so now what are proper and pseudo scalars suppose we have two vectors we have two proper vectors a and b then if we make the dot product of these two then we'll get some scalar and you will see that this scalar doesn't change the sign under mirror reflection similarly if we have two another uh, vectors which are pseudo vectors like uh, suppose d vector dot e vector where both of these are pseudo vectors then you will get some uh, scalar suppose d then d d also doesn't change sign under mirror reflection S but if we if you take a proper vector like um, suppose uh, uh, x and y suppose x is proper vector and y is our pseudo vector then the product suppose z this product will change sign under mirror reflection so in this way so we are defining the proper and pseudo scalar like this way uh, if the scalar doesn't change the sign under mirror reflection then this type of scalar is called the proper scalar proper scalar and if 
the scalar changes sign under mirror reflection then it's called pseudo scalar so i hope that these concepts are very much clear to you what are proper and pseudo vectors and scalar and this concept is very much important for you to understand the mirror reflection symmetry okay so in the upcoming videos i will discuss uh, that thing what is mirror symmetry the newton's laws of motion is uh, uh, invariant under mirror symmetry or not so take care of yourself thanks for watching